Most people in Canada and the United States use social media in some way. You probably won't be surprised to hear that professors are among these social media users. Many of them use social media for personal reasons, perhaps just to catch up with friends and family on Facebook or Instagram. Others use them for professional reasons, such as to share their research, participate in conference discussions, and more. All this had us asking, are professors consistently on social media? Or do they take breaks? What do their breaks look like? We looked at approximately 4,000 users on Twitter and their 9 million tweets to answer questions about their use and lack of use of Twitter. We found that taking a step back from social media is common. Approximately half of our participants took some kind of a break from Twitter. Academics are taking breaks of 30, 60, 90 days, or even longer. Although some quit the platform and never return, most of the time they eventually resumed using Twitter. We were still curious to understand why academics take these breaks. Some research suggests that people take breaks from social media because it takes too much of their time, it causes stress, and raises privacy concerns. Various scandals, such as the ones with Facebook and Cambridge Analytica, contribute to these concerns. But we were still interested in knowing why our group of academics was taking breaks. Although most academics don't announce their breaks, some do, and we can learn a lot from what scholars are tweeting before and after their breaks. So we identified scholars who took a social media break, and we read every one of their tweets before and after their break to see what we could discover. And we found that academics in this study are taking breaks because of excessive workload, being new to Twitter, or trying to be more reflective and intentional about their social media use. We also found that when they return to Twitter, they are returning to have Twitter conversations with other users, to highlight their professional activities, to retweet content, or to share commentary on current events or issues. In short, this research helped us understand that social media use varies over time and multiple factors may contribute to pauses, breaks, and returns to social media. We explore these issues and details in our published paper. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.